Welcome to My Easy Statistics. In this session, we will be discussing about MacNemer test in SPSS. MacNemer test is a statistical test used on paid nominal data. It is applied to 2 into 2 contingency table with a dichotomous trait with matched pace of subjects to determine where the rows and column marg uh, marginal frequencies are equal. Ma MacNemer test is a dichotomous. It is 2 into 2 cont contingency table. We will see this with the help of an example. I am considering an example of sales people. In this study, we are considering 50 sales people and we would be knowing their performance with the training and without training. So without training, 25 salesmen has not reached the targets and 25 salespersons have reached the target. And with the training, targets not reached is 15 salespersons and with the training targets reached is 35. So this is 2 into 2 contingency table where we want to know is the training has improved the performance of sales people. We can do this with the help of MacNemer test. So this is SPSS file where I have two variables showing the data okay two variables without training with the training and without training and I have taken here labels as zero target not reached one target reached so for both variables we have maintaining with the training and without training I am showing the data view so this is the data view where we have tabulated in this form. Now let me execute the MacNemer test. Before executing, let me frame the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis. The training program has no significant improvement in performance. So I have framed a null hypothesis and I have a decision rule. If the significant value is less than 0 0.05, then reject the null hypothesis. Or decision rule, if the significant value is greater than 0 0.05, then retain the null hypothesis. Let me perform the analysis and see whether training has any significant In this SPSS, when we have two variables with the training, without the training, this is called paid and they are dichotomous. So let me do the analysis. Analysis. I am going for non-parametric test. In non-parametric test, I am going for legacy dialog. In legacy dialog, deleted samples in two related samples the pop-up window with the training is transferred from left side box to right side and without training I want to perform MacNema test and say ok Okay, here the same box which we have seen earlier, we got the same thing. So with the training, target not reached is 5 and with the training, target not reached is 5. This is the without training people who reached and without uh, with the training how many people reached. This is what is a 2 into 2 contingency table I am showing you. Now we already framed a null hypothesis
the training program has no significant improvement in the performance and decision rule we already had if the significant value is less than 0.05 then reject the null hypothesis so let me check what is the significant value so this is a significant value the significant value is 0.041 binomial distribution used macnema test so the significant value in this case is 0.041 so if 0.041 that is less than 0.05 so i am rejecting the null hypothesis so what is my conclusion in this case significant value is 0.01 which is less than 0.05 so reject the null hypothesis that is the training program has resulted in significant improvement in the performance of salespersons we can see here in this case see without training the target reached is 25 okay okay uh, let me show in this case like this i'll go for the example and show you in this case see we can see with the train 20, 35 members got targets but without training target reaches 25 means at least 10 members extra we got with the training and our mac numer is proving that yes performance training has a performance good performance for the sales persons so this is mac numer test i expect this is useful and thank you